And it should direct us to eschatology. That is, the doctrine of last things. In the last days, that hey, hey, Jesus Christ is coming again, and He actually, the Bible declares, He can come back at any moment. There are those who do not believe in the imminent return of Jesus Christ, but what's interesting is Matthew chapter 24 does talk about how no man knows the day or the hour of Christ's coming. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse number 2, Paul was writing, and he literally implies that we do not know the day of the Lord because it comes as a thief in the night. In Titus chapter 2, verse 13, the Bible says, Looking unto the blessed return or, or, uh, and the glorious return of the blessed hope and the glorious return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why in the world would Paul be writing to Timothy and say, Hey, you need to look for the return of Christ and the blessed hope if he knew exactly when Christ was coming. Hebrews chapter 10 and verses 24 and 25 declare that Jesus Christ's return is imminent. The Bible says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking or abandoning the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, as such as so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Commentators believe that this phrase, as ye see the day approaching, is literally referring to the imminent return of the Lord Jesus Christ. James was writing, and he says these words in chapter 5, verses 7 through 9. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Implying Christ's return would be at any moment and at any time. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. The Bible also declares the same manner. It says, But in the end of all things is at hand. And this phrase, commentators believe strongly that it emphasizes Christ's return is imminent. And then in Revelation chapter number 1 and verse number 1, the Bible proclaims Christ's return as imminent. Notice what it says, The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto Him to show unto His servants things which must shortly come to pass. And He sent and signified it by His angel unto the servant John. The phrase which must shortly come to pass, many commentators and theologians believe that is also referring to to the declaration of the doctrine of the imminent return of Jesus Christ. Now, my friends, as we look at Christ coming in the first time, we should be reminded that He's coming back a second time. Where the church, I believe there's two phrases of the second coming of Christ. There is a first phrase, the rapture that will take place. The Bible is best explained by a pre-tribulational rapture. When you look at all the details, Christ will, will rapture out the church, we believe. And then a seven-year tribulational period will, will take place. And then after that period, Christ will return physically and place His feet on the Mount of Olives.